Hey everybody, this is uh, Mr. Love here. Uh, we're going to do a uh, very, very basic um, physics problem that involves distance, rate, and time today. Um, and so this is the problem. It reads, a runner covers a distance of 5,200 meters. He's able to maintain a pace of 4.4 meters per second. Um, how long does it take to complete the jog in seconds, minutes, and in hours? Um, this problem involves a bit of uh, dimensional analysis as well to make these conversions. Um, you might know these conversions sort of automatically, but it helps to look at them in terms of the units. So it's uh, so it's always easier to uh, to make these conversions and double check that you're right. So what we're looking at um, again is a distance equals rate times time problem. Um, and if you rearrange this, we can say that time is equal to the distance divided by the rate. Okay, very, very basic. So we'll look at A first. Um, so for A, the time is equal to the distance, which is 5,200 meters, um, divided by the rate, which is 4.4 meters per second. And if you punch that into your calculator, um, you get a value that comes out to be 1181.82 seconds. Okay, and we always want to make sure that we take into account significant figures. Um, 5200 has two significant figures, 4.4 has two significant figures, so we want to make sure our answer has two significant figures. So it should be 1200 seconds. That's the answer to part A. Part B um, asks for that result in minutes. So what we can do is take this original value, 1181.82 seconds, um, and convert that to in minutes. And if, um, if you do that, you get okay, that value, 1182 seconds um, times our dimensional analysis conversion, which is one minute for 60 seconds. Um, you know you're doing this right because the seconds cancels out, the seconds cancels out, so it's 1182 divided by 60, and the answer comes out to be on your calculator. 19.697, okay, um, and that's in minutes again. Uh, same idea, we should only have two um, significant figures here, um, so that works out to be two, or 20 rather, minutes. Okay, part three asks us to do the same thing for hours, um, so we're going to go ahead and use the, uh, the same original value. Um, and this time we have to convert it twice. Um, so the same conversion that was above holds true. So there's one minute and 60 seconds. Um, and the second conversion is again 1 over 60, but this time it's one hour and 60 minutes. Again, this verifies that we're doing the right thing here. Um, minutes and minutes cancel out. Seconds um, cancels out. You're left with hours. So the result is this. 0 0.3282 hours. Okay. Again, two significant figures is what we want. Um, so the final answer for this one is 0 0.33 Okay, so there are your three uh, three solutions. Keeping in track or keeping track of significant figures, uh, making sure that we use dimensional analysis to do the conversions. Um, and you're all set. Okay, thanks for watching.